health is wealth. The richest man without it is poor. What are you investing for your children? I know many of us would like to invest maybe money or property and other things. But do you know that one of the best treasure that you can invest for a child is good health? Today, I'm concerned about the kids who are becoming overweight, or what we call child obesity. I've met so many little children today who are suffering from obesity or overweight. One day I met a child two years old who was weighing 25 kgs. And you wonder what is happening. Another time I remember meeting a, a, a young man, uh, a child 11 years old, weighing about 120 kgs. I was shocked. He was wearing a shirt that I cannot even put on and I'm many years older than him. Do we know that when kids are getting bigger, more than their height or their age, we are putting them at a risk of many chronic conditions at a very young age? I have seen so many children in my clinical practice suffering from diabetes type 2. Some suffering from indigestion problems stomach ulcers, and of course many of them are even having a risk of developing cancer at a very young age. When kids are getting bigger, that is one of the risk factors that can actually make them ill and make them live a poor, healthy life, uh, even at a very young age. How, what can we do as parents? The best way to do is to teach our children how to eat well and how to live well. You know, many of you just remember when you are young, you spend much of your time outside the house, playing balls, playing games, sweating, and getting dealt. But today, what are we doing to our children? We are buying them a PlayStation. So our kids are starting a sedentary lifestyle at a very young age. They are not doing any physical activity at all. They are no longer involved in manual work. They are not sweating. They are not burning fat. They are not able to burn the calories that they are eating. And what have we done? We have also added to that a junk food lifestyle. So you find these children who are not doing any physical activity today. They are eating almost each and every one hour. It's ice cream. It's some junk food, it's some cakes. You know, those things that you used to eat only on birthdays when you were young as a parent. Our children today, they are having like a birthday every day. And then we wonder why are they getting bigger and why are they getting sick when we think in our minds that we are giving them a better life. It is this so-called good life that is killing our children. It will be good. It would be wise for us as parents to take our kids to the kitchen and show them how to make that nice carrot salad. Show them how to make the nice lentil soup. Show them how to bake that healthy whole wheat brown bread. If we involve our children in make, taking care of their own health, you know, we are going to be a blessing to them. They are going to learn not only to look after their own health, they may even inspire their fellow children to enjoy a measure of good health. If you want to buy toys for your kids, buy those things that will help them to sweat. You know, buy something that they will be using it playing outside. They are going to do physical activity and they are going to sweat. Even better, take your kids to the garden. Work with them in the garden. Show them how to make compost. Show them how to plant how to do weeding and how to harvest. There's nothing more, go more of a blessing like teaching a child how to grow your own food. And if we can do our best as parents, giving our children the best and educating them at that very young age, we are going to do the best investment for their life. That is good health. Remember the wise king Solomon said, train up a child while he is young. Because even when he grows up, 
you will remain in it. I wish you good health. May you do your best for your child from now onwards. Remember, health is wealth. Mm -hmm.